Alright everybody, welcome back to the Mofa Project. And today I'm gonna do the Mofa Project again because, you know, it is Mon uh, It's Wednesday. It's not Monday. It's not Monday at all. Why Why would I think that it's Monday? Jesus. <laughs> I am absolute garbage at that. Uh, oh well. Anyway, I thought it was Tuesday or Monday at least. It is Wednesday today. So, um, no further ado. Um, Let's get started once this thing is loaded up. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, fixing uh, this bit of the part. So we're going to make the second trunk that is going to be going up towards here, uh, down there. And then it's going to be, you know, put there. So that's the uh, second part that we have left uh, where, we, where we left off, which still needs to be done. I'm thinking I'm going to do just do only that because of... Uh, I actually had a lot of things uh, done today, um, and I mean like really a lot. Actually, when I did already a lot of drawing today, it was a, uh, it was a pain in the ass, but it was decent enough for to know how to do things properly. Also, it helped me a lot with uh, facial des uh, facial design, which is nice. I'm, I'll, I'll show you later on. Um, but now I need to fix this. So where is it? Ah, there it is. I like it. So, uh, we need to draw that in there. So we should find ourselves the line for that. That's gonna be that one. So we're gonna put this. Uh, we're gonna put this. Yeah, we're gonna put this. What we have right here, and we're gonna put this into a separate layer. Not the separate layer in the in the uh, filter, but separate layer in the group because you know it's gonna be. Put uh, no, this one needs needs to be a second new one. Yeah, there you go. So that we have the idea what we need to draw in there. All right, so we have this that needs to be drawn in, and we need to figure out how. Because I do want this tree to be looking decent. All right, I need to have this tree to be going up and down, multiple ways up and down. So. I should definitely, um, yeah, because this tree needs to be going up again with more branches going upwards. So right here needs to be a natural looking part. And that's the main problem. All right. First things, we're going to switch this back to black. And then we're going to switch this to pencil mode. And then we're going to go for size 3.6. There you go. And this should be uh, it, right? Yes, this should be it. So we do have this. So we need to go right over here, which leads to this one right over here. Because this one is a thing that we need to draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. needs to be drawn. Right. Um... go and then this is supposed to go upwards like so so if we shut down this we should have the right lines for this no we didn't we didn't got it So now we have that line, and now we need to look at how we want to position that. That's the main problem here, and that's also the main issue that we have right here. We have this tree that is like, you know, a, cro uh, a cross section, like a, uh, how do you say that, a knotted bilge? Uh, I don't know the word for the, the one thing in, in, in English, but. It's an it's another tree, so it's like a tree that has uh, got a bolt cut, and the idea is that we're uh, moving upwards with those uh, tree parts. So we have like a trunk right here, and then a trunk right there. So it's like one there, one there, and then it goes back upwards. So it has multiple sp uh, splits. Uh, it splits multiple times uh, towards upper parts. Normally you won't have this because, well, normally you could not have this because of how trees work, but 
I thought like, well, it's a good idea, you know, having a mid uh, having a mid center that goes up again. With multiple tree parts going up as well. Around it like a flower. Like a broccoli flower. So technically it should be able to be done, right? Because broccoli could do it. Then technically a tree should also be able to do it. Oh well. Um So yeah, this part right here is now uh drawn in. Um, let me get this straight. How the hell? This part right here doesn't make any sense. This should be going up like this instead. Like going up like that. And then it needs to be going natural. So it should be going like this. Yes. Cannot have any unnatural. Um, we cannot have an unnatural kind of tree that's that that would be stupid so right now we have this which might work uh, it would work definitely it would work just now need to get it rightfully placed all right i have placed it and now we actually need to do this again but this time with the um but with the lines in there all right, so we're gonna lower this down and then we're gonna draw over it and this time we can just draw over it properly all right and then we have ourselves the tree pot that we need and then we actually need to design the uh the lines on it again oh boy that's gonna be taking the most time probably because of how you know, the trees work. No, it's gonna be taking the most time anyway. Trees take lots of time to draw, especially if you wanna draw the textures on it. And also down here, we can also draw. All right. Um. Now that we've done that, we can now remove this one, because we don't need it. And now we actually need to draw, uh, well, we're going to draw first, we're going to just draw the, uh, the color in, because of one particular thing that I don't like, which is very com being very confused when drawing. Especially when I have, like, multiple colors left and right which can cause a lot of trouble so today i'm gonna do the trunk and then i'm gonna be also fixing this tree uh, tree trunk here uh, this tree uh, tree thing right here as well all right oh wait i'm drawing the wrong way there you go and now we can also see exactly where we need to draw anyway it helps a lot might not help a lot for now, but it helps a lot for me to see where the hell we draw. Because we need to know where the tree goes and how the tree goes anyway. Now we don't have to be that precise about it. We can just, you know, follow this line. Go upwards a bit. Like this. And then we can draw on, uh, on, uh, on it. So we can just draw on it anyway. All right, I'm gonna catch to you later. And I'm gonna be going here. So there's gonna be, you know, a lot of tree engravings here. So the first things first we need to learn is where to go and how to go. So we need to go from that part. We need to actually go from this part to that part upwards. So we're going to start right here. That's a good part to start. Of course, we don't want to go too big on it because, well, you know, problems that might occur. Um, I actually want here, I want to have a dot. So I want to have here a dot, which we can then uh, create in the other way around, like so. Oh. 
Oh, and I drew it on the wrong layer. Oh well. That's a thing that can happen. Because I'm not fully awake. Well, I'm w awake, but I'm not fully. Uh, um, I'm not fully concentrated. The main problem is that you know I had a lot of. I had a literally a little bit of a day of uh, doing a lot of things. I uh, I came to an uh, on unsuspected result. Let's put it that way. I was like going to do my daily walk after I did some drawing, and then I was like, "Hey, you want to help with community service?" And I'm like. Well, I cannot say no to that, don't I? And then the whole, and then also television came, so I'm very happy upon that. And I had a little bit of a chit chat, a little bit of talking, and that was actually quite nice. But yeah, uh, then I came across something very annoying, which is actually a lot of garbage in one place, and it's a place of ne 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 neglect. Uh, yes, it's a place where people neglect stuff. And it's a dumping place, which technically is supposed to be not a dumping place, but it is a dumping place, nonetheless. So I tried to fix that, and I did, but at the result is that, you know, the whole, uh, it was very heavy. And, uh, you know, my uh, muscles are a little bit tired of that. And then also, you know, doing the daily, uh, and then also working on the wizard is... Uh, it turned, it paid off, but I did actually three hours of of drawing already. That bastard now looks great, so I'm very happy about that. I did do had to fix his eyes though, because apparently his eyes was uh, his eyes were a little bit strange. Um, you know how one eye is then not close to the ring brow, uh, to the browns instead of. So one eye was not in the right position of the other one. Therefore, causing a lot of trouble, and I had to fix that before it was too late, which I did, but it was a bit of a hard thing to do, let's say the least. Because, you know, I had to see, like, where it goes and how that went, but I'm very happy upon how far I am at all the stuff. Mom and Dad are not yet home, which is a bit worried. I think they're gonna sleep at my grandma's house. Probably. Which I'm fine with, honestly, but, you know, it's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a problem when uh, people are not responding properly. It's like, you know, when are you coming home? And then they say, like, we're all still here, yes, but you didn't answer the question of when do you come home. I'm feeling like I'm babysitting people. Which is, uh, babysitting the house. Which is not too bad. It's quiet now, which is good. I like quiet. Also pr produces a lot more pro productivity on my on my end. But uh, yeah, the dog doesn't like it quiet <laughs> because the dog is now literally constantly watching the window. Like when are we when will they come back? Like they and like he has v Vietnamese uh, flashbacks. Like oh my god, they left me again. Oh when will they come back to me? I miss them already. It's like cheese, man. Of course, some power balls. Oh wait, he doesn't have them <laughs> anymore. Oh well. So, uh, yeah. It's a it's a quite uh, a quite day for me. Well, it's it's quite a day for me. Also, I did my daily walk already. I still need to do my daily uh, my daily sit ups because of. I want to reduce the belly button because of uh, the amount of sitting work I'm doing. Like, I'm doing sitting work now, I'm doing sitting work at work, I'm doing sitting work when I'm doing the hot, or when I'm doing the drawings, and when I'm doing gaming, and when I'm doing... Yeah, so you, you get the point. I'm doing a lot of sitting work. Which causes, you know, the belly to uh, no longer ex uh, go inside, so it's like, you know, the reflection has gone a bit. Which can be fixed, just exercise more and more, and then, you know, you will get a very strong belly. Which is nice. And once I'm done, you know, I will be very happy upon that. Not to say the least, I like my, I like to sleep out a bit. That's also nice. Um, I want this to be there, and I want these things to go upwards. 
So yeah. You can already see where I need to do some stuff here and there. I need to fix some stuff in the on the drying as well to fix this fully. Am I gonna do this part? No, I'm gonna be leaving that and then cutting that out and then getting this into a different stage. So I should have removed that part. Since I'm not gonna do that. Um Well then. All right, now I can see. Thank you. And now I can remove the things that I want to remove. I definitely should lower down the size of the brush for that. Yes, all right, good. Now we have the big tree, and now we can see, like, if this is correctly done. Um, it is not bad, I think, right? Um, yes and no. I do spot some idea, uh, some issues with the lines, which is a problem. So right over here we have these things, right? But we don't have a way to do these things properly. So we should definitely add some more variety in that. There you go. That will fix it. But then I also need to remove them so that I can do it myself. So this part right here is not fully done properly. It happens, it happens, it happens, but it's important that we are we're it's important that we know when and how things go. Because we know we have already the thing that we have, which is the uh, tree itself, but if things go only straight, you never want to go straight, especially when these trees you want to go for like a spiral stands upon everything you do with these uh, bark. All right, now we've done that, we can now add the coloring into it. And hopefully that will fix the most of it. Probably it will fix the most of it. Don't know much, but it will probably fix a lot. So am I going to go for one? Yeah, I can do that. I can go for one. All right. So the idea is that we're going to fix the uh, look on this by adding some textures there and here and there, and then we can see how this is all going. see the mistake. Well, it's a mistake that can be fixed, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's a it's a tiny bit of a mistake here and there. It happens when you're trying to do your very best on things and then you know you don't and then you miss spot something. But right now it's not that problematic. I still need to see first the full result before I can or before I can decide if I want to do it anyway. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go that way. This one as well to go. Mm. 
and then we can see if this is working. Oh, no, 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 this is not working. Um, I need to switch to this one. And then I need to switch to this one for the uh, line drawing. Like I did with these ones. Just need to get a blur tool for this. This one. And this one. There you go. Fix that bad boy. All right. I mean, if I had anything else to do, then I would have known, but this is actually looking quite nice. Always just, you know, doing the same thing all over again is quite a nice idea. It's always lovely to see my own mistakes coming to get me. Well, it should be fine. Once we figure out how to do it again, you know, we can do it properly. It's a lot of trial and error in, involved in these things, especially in texturing. All right. Oh, this is actually quite hard to do, trust me. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of time in there. The main problem is that I always need to see like where I need to go with these uh, strokes because I need to touch every single line or well, at least you know try to do the major of it so you know we have that tree effect on it then once that is done I can then you know move on Quite easily. All 
right. Now we need to actually get the blur tool in there, and then that should fix the whole shenanigans that we have right now. Yeah. Oh, hey, Alfie Gamer. How's the progress scrolling? Th those trees look very good. Thanks. Thanks. Well, the progress is this. So, boop, 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 as you can see. We already have almost a whole full tree. It's just that, uh, well, you know, we're busy with the second tree, because this is the first tree. The first tree is not fully done, also it's not fully, uh, it's also not fully, uh, it's not also fully cr uh, correctly made, but uh, it does have its own benefits. I do want to make multiple types of trees in one forest, normally, which is normal for a, for a forest, alright, but... I still need to figure out like what kind of. Um, I actually think I'm gonna put uh, this one right here, the uh, top one, put it a little bit more sideways so it's actually technically from the other one right here, but I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, that's how far it looks now, and also thanks for uh, telling me that it looks great because you know that's always appreciated. What we're now trying to do here is creating an effect that causes the tree to look better. But I don't know if that's going to be working properly. Or at least it's going to be fixing me a lot of things. Which it does already look like that it is going to be looking a little bit more better than before. We just need to fixate on fixing it fully. That looks much better. Because this tree is actually in the back of it, so therefore, you know, it should not be that little. But I don't know if this is going to be the right way to do it. Probably yes. Probably it is. Yeah, that looks actually quite decent. Nice. Now I actually need to go for first for darker, and we need to do this on the brush mode, which this is that. Also, we should definitely do full screen. It's much better. Oh well, it's uh, it's better for the piece uh, for the PC itself. A little more darker, please. Thank you. Like that. And then we're going to go for a light, like so. Oh boy. Um, light little steps on this. Light little steps, that's all I need. Tiny bits, tiny bits, not too much, otherwise it will hurt the tree. There you go. Nice little lighting on it. Yeah, nice. Sweet. Alright, Um. now that we have done that, I'm going to be looking at the tree pot and it's going to say that it's 30 minutes already, which is nice. 
And I'm gonna be looking at this, by the way, just just in case we're wondering what is difference from there to there. Lots and lots more uh, lights, uh, light crossings, right? Oh yes, 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 yes. So this tree is definitely different than the other ones. All right, since that is true. So either we're gonna rewrite that tree or we're gonna keep up with the rest of the trees and put that tree in the background. Well, it's it's farther away than the other one, therefore you should not be seeing that much of a detail. Mm. So I could technically say that this is legit. Ooh. Ooh. Difficulty. I'll take that then. I'll take that. Then. I'll I'll forgive this tree. I'll forgive this tree for being too detailed. I'll forgive it because it's always nice to have a detailed tree anyway. These trees are also detailed, but these de these detailed trees are different detailed than the other one. They're less detailed, but they're detailed nonetheless. Um. There you go. It's nice to know when and how this all works, so that's good. Now we also need to fix that tree right over there. We need to fix that tree. But if we now add the blur tool to it, it would create a good looking stump, right? Oh well, good looking part of the tree, like a tree branch. Ah, that's the word I'm looking for. Tree branch. Why do we have so much trouble with tree branches? I have no way. I have no idea. Absolutely not. But this should be fine. Uh, there you go. Easy as that. Easy as cu uh, easy cutting edge technology. And then I'm gonna just you know, move towards the place where we all right so this tree might look a little bit too detailed or yeah this tree might look a little bit less detailed than the other one right there but it doesn't mean we cannot have this one it means that we have two variety of trees that we need to make which is normal in a forest it's just me making more work on my fucking work list which is not bad, which is not bad, honestly, it's 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 not too bad. It's just gonna be me like, oh my god, why did I do this? But kind of move, but yeah, we need to do that. It's either that or lowering the resolution of the tree, which is gonna take more time than just making new trees, which are less than the original one, uh, which are less, uh, how do you say that? Less detail, it's less difficult to create more detailed trees than removing one detailed tree out of the pic uh, than uh, reducing one detailed tree's uh, quality. Yes. So just make a variety. So just go for a one to one. So like one detailed one, non one less detailed tree and then combine them in the, in the, re uh, in the, uh, how do you say that? Combine them in the uh, variety uh, aspect. So, like, you have one non detail tree, one detail tree, one non detail tree, one detail tree, one non detail tree, one detail tree. And I know why this is happening with this tree. It's because I took the image of the back line of the tree, of the non detail uh, tree, as my uh, go to, which causes this tree to happen, which is not a bad tree, but it's less detailed than the tree that we have right here, which is the main problem. So we need to do that. Mm. Yay! <laughs> I am totally not. I'm totally not uh, having a blast with that, but Ooh. all right. Uh, let's see. That gives not a bad blur, honestly. 
So if we remove the blur, which is true, and we can just say like, oh well, we do like to have another blur, please. And then we can say like, add another blur. Uh, filter mask. Add another blur to it. Yes, thank you. Now we can see everything. All the dots that are popping up because of overlapping blur. All right. Um. So yeah, this already gives me a good idea of how the tree is gonna look. So if we now just, I'm just experimenting a bit to see how it works and how it looks. So this tree trunk, this tree trunk with bloom, it looks nice. It does give the feeling of a tree trunk, honestly. It gives a, a, free, a tree tree branch, honestly. It gives the feeling of it. It also has the aspect of it, which is nice. And we can see that it is actually quite um, nicely progressed. This one as well looks lovely on that aspect. And we can just, you know, add this to the blurriness to it. Like so. I'm going to be adding more of that to it. But yeah, that looks decent. That looks that looks doable. That is actually quite a nice tree looking to looking tree that I can just, you know, blur a bit out, blurring a little bit less out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, now we need to fix the leaves, and we have how much time? We have twenty minutes. Twenty minutes left. That is doable. All right, leaves. It is uh, leaves. So put the filter off because otherwise we're gonna get red dots of doom, which we don't want. And we're gonna add some tree leaves because well, we need tree leaves. Also, we can remove now this bit of scenery which nobody asked for right yes which nobody asked for thank you all right now we're gonna add that scenery to it um need to go here pick in pencil again switching pencil 3.6 and now we need to look for what we need to do so First, I'm going to pick this empty screen so that we can know where we need to draw. We need to draw this bit upwards. We need to draw this. This needs to be in there. This needs to be like this. So we can go for this kind of effect. Yes, we can go for that. All right. Um, right. We're going to lower this down so we don't see too much. And we're going to draw some line so we know where to go for so this is like that that's like that that's like that all right good now we're ready to go so where do we start well we start down because that's the most important part where we need to draw as long as we draw down nothing's going to happen properly but we need to draw we need to start with we need to start with the down part because otherwise we're going to get in lots of trouble later on which we don't want because we want to create a we want to create a little bit of a bush and therefore we totally ruined it we did it the wrong way god damn it uh let's see da, 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 then this needs to be this needs to be filled up more Like so, All right? Yes, like so. Then the top part needs to be drawn like so. And that will fix that. And now we can fix this bit. And then we can remove this bit right here, which we do need to do. Yeah, that's how to do it. 
and we can now casually add some more lines and detail to it. And then here we can add um, certain kind of ideas to it. Like so, and that should fix the bits and problems that we had with the drawing. Sweet. We solved it. How nice. All right, we solved that tree part, and now we actually need to add some more green. Woohoo! Green. I want me so some green, and I want it now. All right, green is gonna be. So green, it's all around here, it's all around here. It's all around there. As you can see, perfect. Yep. So we need to, um, we need to lower down the size a bit, because holy hell, that's a lot of green that we are missing. And then we can remove it right here. And we can remove it with the hard eraser instead. So that's important. Yeah, like so. Yes. This always takes the most time, just erasing all the uh, bits of uh, parts that we don't need. Alright. Top. Everything is there clean. Uh, almost. Alright, so now we're going to add the coloring system to it, which is important. Uh, we're going to go for that. And also go for a bit like this. There is no line here. Interesting. Should fix that then as well. And we should go for some line right over here. And then we should go for the blur tool to fix the uh, bits and the, the bits and neck and crannies that are left behind. Alright, now we need to fix the line, which is this one right here, which is not fully drawn in. Which should be drawn in, but isn't. Alright, well, no better day than tomorrow, no better day than today to fix that line. Mm. Then we also now need to remove. Now we need to add some. We need to add some green here. Right over there. Yes. All right. Good. And this should be it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Look at that. It looks all pretty and fine. Except that strange line over there, but. I'll fix that. Um, no, 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 no. Um, so it's not on that line. Which line is it? Come on and show me. I'm gonna fix that line. I know it's someone. I know it's someone. Uh, 
Is it this one? Ooh, it is this one. And this one, right? Oh, yes. Oh, hell yes. All right. Look at that. We have fixed two birds with one stone, I believe. Right? Yeah, with one stone, we fixed two birds. How oh, lovely. All right. We fixed, the, uh, we fixed the leaves right here. We fixed the tree right here. And now we're done with that. It looks like a lot of work. <laughs> fun. It looks like a lot of work to do this. Yeah, yeah, probably it's a lot of work. I, I, uh, it's like one day, a, a one, a one day, a, uh, every day, one hour. That's, that's like you know, pretty much a lot of work. So, then combine that with hundred and sixty episodes already around that. So hundred and sixty hours of work already in this bad boy, and then you know, I'm still not done. I'm very close. Don't get me wrong here. I'm very close. I only need to draw one, two, three, four, five trees, and the bottom part. And then I'm finished. Then I'm fully finished and I'm done. Until that, though, it's going to be taking a long time. Un until that, it's going to be a lot of work. But it's good and healthy work because I only, take, I only do one hour. Which also causes me to not over... Uh, over pressure pressurize myself and not over stress myself therefore you know the creativity and the uh, innovation in the drawing itself improves far more better uh, when you do that so if you just do one hour a day instead of like three hours or four hours in one go 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 and then do it again in two hours and then go go it, it's uh, it can cause a lot of problems but yeah, it takes a lot of time. It's a bit time consuming, but hey, you know, it's not it's not as time consuming as uh, some other works I did because, you know, they're not done yet. But uh, for instance, this one right here, um, I can show you, by the way, in the story of awesomeness, what I did. I finally finished the blowing down wizard's face. Jeez, it was such a piece of junk to work with. So as you can see here, for instance, uh, this is the wizard's face, all right? You probably would say like, all right, that's not a lot of work, which is true, which is true. This this is just, you know, flat lines and all that stuff, but it does take like maybe six hours. But if you compare that to, uh, uh, where is it? This bad boy, the boat project itself, this, this probably took like four, uh, this probably took like four months to work with, uh, uh, because I technically did most of it out of, uh, out of, it took four months to make, but because I only, only, uh, because I only did the, uh, co uh, recording of the coloring, it took less, it took less days to, uh, to do, uh, two less days to do, because technically what I did was, I almost worked like four uh, four hours in one go on this project, which is good. It's good, but you're not supposed to do more than four hours, otherwise the quality will go down and you cannot see your mis uh, misreadings. For instance, with the wizard, for instance, I had problems with the eyes and I only saw later on, which is normally the case of most of the things. And uh, for instance, uh, this bad boy, which is not even done, but I can show you. Mm, which mm, come on load in my boy load in me boy i want you to be loading in this bad boy for instance this one is not done which is true but if you look what i did here yeah um i uh, experimented with some uh, some of the uh, new uh, with some of the brushes instead of using a pencil tool i actually used a, pe a pen tool which uh of uh, within instead of the pencil tool, I use the pen tool. Yes, which is correct. Yeah, yeah, I did it correctly. <laughs> Said it correctly. Uh, and I learned more about color, uh, coloring and how to do the sh uh, how to do the shading of certain bits. Also, what I really liked, what was well done here, was actually the skin of it itself. Oh, this is such a nice achievement that I finally got the reptilian skin correctly, which is nice. Which also you can see, like if you zoom a bit in, you can see that it also feels. It feels like it. It create. It creates that feeling of uh, 
uh, of work. But this thing, for instance, I think I was busy with it like two, we uh, two weeks, probably two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. I was working with it like four days a day, uh, four days a day and then recording one hour. Or did I only do the recording of an hour? Probably I only did the recording of an hour, but this was actually quite nicely done. Although uh, the design itself was actually, the design itself was pretty, pretty good because of how I did it. I used the reference material of my old drawing and then redrew it in digital art. And I must say, I'm very happy about the result. The only downside is that um, the pencil tool has its own limits. The pencil tool is far better used uh, for uh, what I realized. It's far better used for like things like the t uh, like you know this kind of art instead, because of uh, how the thumbnail works. The art the artwork is so much more easier, so much more uh, so more, uh, it it gives more it gives more a, a feeling to it. If you use it like a brush, like like a pa uh, like a draw uh, like a drawing like a drawing tool for uh, paintings its main purpose gets a bit lost, uh, which is line art. Eh. <laughs> so, you know, experimentation of brush brushes, uh, finding out like how coloring and uh, lighting works, like with the first project, oh my god, that was like a nightmare to do with. And now finally being able to do that, and then also learning more about it, by you know implementing it by getting to uh, by doing more drawings like for instance I did a lot of drawings uh, lately with the uh, with the uh, speed drawing contest I did and you can see like all the all these drawings are all done in one hour but you can see that I actually did some experimentation with some uh, some of the brushes and some of the ways of how things work they all have to the, they all have the same uh, they all have the same idea but they um they, all, they have all the same uh, kind of art style but they all uh have I all have used the uh drawings I used the the way of how I used the brush the tools was different there you go also I did some things with uh, you know finding out what like paintings normally like I did this only with the uh pencil tool to see what kind of effects it gives and what it did and then use a stamp tool to create clouds which also gives a quite unique effect to it which is which is sweet but you know Mofa project it's a it's a project it's not called a project for nothing it it's a long uh, long journey which has many hooks and many 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 uh, flaws in it but eventually you know once this thing is done it will create one beautiful picture um, I hope that's, uh, I hope, yeah, 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 I'm gonna cut it here then. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and, uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day, and, uh, bye!